Welcome back to Jack of All Trades. Today we're going to be doing a video review of the Manuel PM500 series XLR microphone. Uh, before you get before we get started, you're going to need 48 volt phantom power to power this. We'll cover that later. Inside the box, nicely laid out. We've got our manual. Tells you how to hook it up. How far to speak away from the microphone. The specifications. Um, what's included in the box. The cardio pattern. The frequency response. It's all there. It's, it comes in different languages. Very basic stuff. Anybody can figure this thing out. Comes with a metal pop filter. And this uh, works really good to remove the explosives in the audio. We have our shock mount. This thing works really good too as well. I actually was ta moving the light stand in the next video shot. And I was bumping it throughout the video. And you could hardly hear the transfer into the microphone from the shock mount. So it worked really good. There's your mic adapter. And like I said, you're going to need to go on to Amazon and get a mic to quarter 20 adapter. If you want to thread this on to quarter 20 accessories, like a mic stand, a light stand, an adjustable swing arm, um, a spider tripod. So it's good to have this little adapter in your kit. Comes in both male and female, as you see here. And we're gonna be using the female. The diameter is the same thread as inside the uh, original shock mount. Very simple to install. But now you've got a quarter 20 mountain point for the mic. Before I forget, I wanted to mention something about this microphone. It's got a nice s steel case. It's a, a 34 millimeter large diameter. Um, it's great for podcasts, streaming, vocals voiceover or music so it's got its purpose it's gonna have a clean XLR so you're gonna see a test in studio later in this video and on the bottom of the box there's another level of stuff we got a metal mini mic stand arm. All this stuff is made of premium metal structure. And even the base is made of solid steel. It's got a nice finish on it. I disabled all camera audio on this video just so you guys can hear just the microphone entirely through this video. So this voiceover is done directly through this XLR mic. You got yourself an XLR cable. And unfortunately you don't get the recorder. That's purchased separate. You can use the Zoom H5 or a other Zoom product. Or even a uh, computer product that allows XLR and supplies 48 volt phantom power. This is all the items you get in the box laid out. Okay, so we'll just fast forward this part. We'll just talk about the mic as we're putting it together. It's a great studio XLR microphone. It's a 4.5 times larger capsule than the competitor. Full metal construction, all new design pop filter, um, custom shock mount, Works really well when you bump the microphone. 
the XLR output, 99% of the clutter and static interference signals are eliminated through XLR. Great for a podcast. Pattern is cardioid. And you need 48 volt phantom power to run it. Um, it's got a... Uh, utilizes premium components for top tier manufacturers. Tailor-made perma-alloy audio signal transformer to provide low self-noise. Exceptional sound capturing for broadcast live streamers. ASMR. It's... Uh, Vocals music. Okay, I just set the 48 volt phantom power, turned it on, set line one in, line two is off. And once I plug this in, the microphone's gonna come alive. And you can see right here, once I press enable, turn on, number one, we now have audio. You can't hear this. That's my six inch test. And I want to set the level to minus six or close to so that it prevents clipping. And you don't want to increase your voice. Try to keep a level voice when you're speaking into this microphone. Don't get too loud or too soft. Just keep your voice at a fixed level. And then you can always do some editing in post. Uh, one thing I did recognize in this mic is when headphones are on, you can hear a little bit of hiss, but you cannot hear it if you're running it through speakers. You can't physically hear the little noise on this microphone. So it's a really good microphone and you can even get rid of that in post. So I got my mic stand or my light stand on the floor here. Put that adapter on the end of it, the quarter 20 female. And I'm gonna thread this onto the shock mount. Mic test, mic test. Gonna wanna stay within finger length like this. So that's where you're going to want to be. That's the approximate level for this microphone. You're going to want to streak directly into it. Um, okay, so it's all set up. I got it on the mic stand. It's a lot easier to stand up and have this right in front of me. You're going to see the position of the microphone where it is on my mouth and whether this will work for you or not on your YouTube videos. The uh, Let's look at the box and give you some description of uh, some of the items on here. The... Frequency response is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and uh, the output impedance is 98.7 ohms. Sensitivity is minus 35.3 dBU at 1 kilohertz, 1 PA at 94 decibels SPL. So, uh, noise levels 20 U VRMS. I can hear it in the headphones, a little bit of hiss, but in post you can easily take that out. And you're going to need 48 volt phantom power, like I showed uh, in the previous clip, hooking it up to my Zoom H5. You're going to, want to enable 48 volt. You can have other recorders, but as long as it supplies 48 volt, you're going to need it to power this uh, this condenser mic. Uh, it's cardio pattern, and uh, it needs phantom power. Let's put that case over there. So this is what it sounds like, guys. Um, the company is uh, M-A-O-N-O. -O. I guess you spell it Mano, Mano. I don't know. But um, I, ended up, I ended up getting another mic for my daughter. It's on my channel. Um, it's like a different microphone with a little volume button. And that thing worked great. My, my daughter's still using the microphone to this day. And uh, they sent me this this uh, microphone to do a video review. And uh, I've had it for a while now. And I, I just got over COVID. And uh, my whole family was really sick. So I couldn't do many videos. And now I'm just getting better now. So I thought I'd uh, do a video tonight. So this, video, this, uh, this type of microphone would be good for voiceovers. 
So if you got like uh, B-roll and you're doing like video reviews and you're showing the product while you're talking over, you can use this microphone. It's got a lot of bass, a lot of low end, and a lot of treble. So we're going to do a, uh, a mic test on this. Uh, I come up with a little story you might find cute. So let's go. Ready? Peter Piper picked some pickles and went down to the market. He sold his pickles and got a bag full of cash. He took the cash to the bank. Later that week, he was watching TV and he watched the stock market fall. He ran to the bank to get out his cold, hard cash. And the bank said, we don't have your money. Anyway. <laughs> um, this microphone, not too bad. I'll put the link in the video description. You guys could check it out. Um, I'll try this microphone in some other videos in the future as voiceovers. And uh, you can get an idea of what it sounds like. And uh, all the audio that came from the unboxing came from this microphone. Now, normally I use a different microphone, a Zoom H5 with a shotgun. Or I use the uh, well, those, those uh, wireless R Rode Go 2s with the transmitter. But this thing has its purpose. And I'm curious to hear what this thing sounds like when I get back to the computer and start doing some uh, EQ on it. I use DaVinci Resolve Studio, so you can do what they call a noise gate and remove the uh, the hiss sound or the low hum sound, and it can completely make it sound like a five six hundred dollar microphone. So I just got to remember I got to stay within six inches of the diaphragm when I'm talking. So I'm sure this pop filter is removing all the P's, the pops, the pops out of my audio. So. It's getting close to Christmas. Now I'm sure this video will be up. You'll be watching this in the spring, summer, whatever. But uh, this is my first XLR microphone to test. So I hope it sounds pretty good to you guys. I'll be using this thing uh, on and off throughout the year. Hopefully you uh, like the sound of it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you guys can go over to uh, Amazon. Click on the link. Pick one up yourself. If you're starting off on a YouTube channel... And like I said, I'm already in like thousands of dollars worth of equipment. And I'm not going to show you all my equipment. You guys don't need to see that. You don't watch these videos and nobody cares about the camera you're using or the microphone or the recorder or the monitor. All they care about is the video content. So I got a couple more videos I got to do coming up. I got a, a generator review to hook up to my house to show you how to power the entire house. That's a pretty cool thing. And uh, I got this drill for my wife, and it's uh, to drill gemstones and with uh, diamond tip uh, drill bits. And I'm going to do that too. I'm going to uh, set that up. And I got a little vise that I bought that holds the uh, little stones Well, you put drill holes in them. So I think that's a pretty cool, cool video. Um, got a couple Bible videos to do in the future. It's just for, trying to find time to sit here and uh, make these videos for you guys. Because uh, I got another life other than this. And I'm sure you guys understand. And some of the YouTube creators on here have you know, stopped making videos. They've moved on. But I'm going to keep this channel going. Uh, if I come up with any interesting content, I'll, uh, I'll make a video on it. So, like I said, this, this Manu, Manu uh, microphone, the actual model is uh, PM500 Series Professional Audio Innovation. So that's the uh, name of the product. They got one, they got a bunch of different products on their on their website. They got um, microphones that sit on your table. They got mixers that mix down audio, like a little mixer board, but it's, and it supplies 48 volt phantom power and it's got like a microphone included. But this microphone beats any packaged microphone from them. Cause this is uh, going up in the uh, high end of the microphones for this company the cardio pattern I guess what that means is that you're gonna get from like here to about like around here and then around here on the mic everything behind it gets canceled out um, this is supposed to be a shock absorber or shock mount that it's sitting in so if I were to like bump the stand it would stop uh, vibration from going into the microphone 
I had to buy one of these adapters. I showed you this earlier. I don't know if you can see it on film. So that I could get that quarter 20 mount. So I can mount it directly to my, my stand while I'm standing here on, on the camera talking to you. So else you got to use that little tiny stand that it comes with. So that, that's good for people that are sitting down in front of a computer at a desk. Or like most people will get what they call like an extension arm to hook to it, attaches to the desk so they can control where they want it in the frame. So I find it's better just to have this thing on a mic stand or a uh, light stand with an arm and then have it uh, attached to the uh, that little adapter and it holds it pretty good in front of you, keeps it in place, keeps it level. So anyway, this is what the box looks like. So I appreciate them sending me this uh, microphone for re review. Um, I gotta say that it, it doesn't sound too bad. For my first XLR microphone test, hooked up to that Zoom H5, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I don't know whether you like it inside your frame, like where it's located, because it's sticking right in the frame in your face. But if you've got the equipment to run it, the phantom power, you're not going to go wrong. You're always going to have a the mic. The 48 volt uh, XLRs are going to sound way better than uh, any of those ones that run on the line line ins, like those little line cords. If the uh, and the XLR cable is supposed to produce a cleaner audio with less interference. So right now I'm recording on a uh, Atomos recorder. The audio is going from the Zoom H5 um, into the camcorder via the HDMI is going audio is going through mixing down inside my Canon G30 and uh, it's got excellent preamps and then it's running straight down into the Atomos recorder so I can monitor headphones on either the camcorder right at the Zoom H5 or directly into the Atomos so it's pretty cool so anyway I'm not going to hold you up any longer guys uh Appreciate you guys having patience with me. You know, it's been a couple of months since I posted a video. And uh, like I said, if you got a kid who's into YouTube and needs a microphone and does voiceovers or does like, you know, podcasts or whatever, you might want to take a look at this microphone because the next step up is like, you know, we're talking four or $500 for these things. And I wouldn't spend 500 bucks on a microphone. I'm telling you right now, I, I wouldn't, I would do it. Because uh, the the amount of money you make on YouTube is pennies. It's not people are gonna think they're gonna get rich on YouTube and and they're not. But um, if you're gonna start a channel and you want see the thing is uh, what I've heard is uh, people can handle bad video, but the audio is the key. If the if the audio sucks, people aren't gonna watch your channel. So make sure you get a good microphone. And I give this a try. You know. I'm not going to tell you the price because prices change over time. And uh, you can go take a look at the link and uh, take a look at the current price. It could be different in the United States as it is in Canada. Now I'm from Canada. And um, um, and like I said, they have their store on Amazon. So And it's getting close to Christmas time. There might be some type of Black Friday sale, uh, coupon sale. You just have to go check it out yourself. So... Anyway, thank you for watching Jack of All Trades, and I uh, look for more videos to come. God bless. You guys have a good week.